Have you wondered how pan works? कहते हैं कि पान और ईमान फेरते रहना चाहिए फिर मटके में बांधे चूने की उंगली को पान पे यूं घुमाना चाहिए हैं? फिर थोड़ी रात रानी चटनी थोड़ा नवरत्न की माम और कथा हैं? कथा असली और नहीं ओए होए, फिर जो पान लगे While there are thousands of varieties across India and Southeast Asia, there are four basic components. One, the leaf of the piper betle plant, close cousin of the pepper plant, with a similar flavor profile. It serves as the packaging. Two, spices like fennel and cardamom, and flavors like rose petals, that serve as a mouth freshener. Three, betel nut, from the areca palm, that has a psychoactive alkaloid called arecoline that affects your central nervous system, causing enhanced alertness, euphoria, and relaxation. It is the fourth most widely used mind-altering substance, after caffeine in coffee and tea, nicotine in tobacco and alcohol. But it has one problem. Arecoline needs to get into your bloodstream so that it can reach the brain. All of us have this muscular security guard who will not allow this, the liver. So when you eat pan, the security guard is going to go, stop. Uh, who are you? So our ancestors figured out a side gate where you can bypass the liver. Which brings us to four, calcium hydroxide or slaked lime. Arecoline dissolves better in alkaline conditions and goes straight into our bloodstream directly from under the tongue. Sublingual absorption. And we tend to chew on alkaline things for longer, giving more time for absorption. Chewing pan is bad for you. Betel nut is a group one carcinogen. But you can use the betel leaf that has a ton of antioxidants and flavonoids as a peppery garnish or as a base for healthier ingredients.